And here we are guys, a couple days later than when the rest of that video was shot and we've got an interesting situation. Now that whole video, what you've seen up to now was supposed to be a video about basically me putting the Bonneville into more long-term storage because my plan eventually with this car is I want to restore this car to kind of OEM plus spec. So either a big supercharged or turbocharged 3800 in the front, updated suspension, just redo the bodywork, make it like as if it rolled off the factory, like how, how, how old is this car? This car is 18 years old, so how good it looked when it rolled out the factory assembly line 18 years ago, but also with some updates and things that I would like to do to the car. So just modifications, basically OEM plus. Now that video that you've seen up to now, sorry, that video, this video was supposed to be basically here. We're going to do one more night with the Bonneville because if we take a step into reality for a second and off of YouTube land, this car has been sitting in the garage at home for like almost a month. I've been driving the Celica full time. So I really wasn't driving this car. So that video was supposed to be basically, all right, let's do one more good night out with Bonnie and all the guys, let's get as many of the guys as we can. Let's have the Bonneville out. One more good night with the Bonneville. Now, I filmed that night. You saw the rollers. I think the rollers of the Bonneville and Lansdowne was the last shot you would have seen. Now, the next morning or two mornings after, I can't remember, the Celica, <laughs> the Celica had another transmission problem. Now, from what I understand and what I can tell, the second gear gate or synchro is failing and failing very, very quickly. So the car's gonna go back in to get fixed, the Celica. I'm gonna have to probably buy some new synchros again because I don't think Monkey Wrench is gonna warranty the synchros. And the shop, Mr. Transmission, that originally, the second shop, they were the good shop that helped me put those, or uh, they did some bearings, they didn't do the synchros, but the shop that originally, the second shop that helped me, I know there's a lot of moving parts. Basically, to simplify this, I'm gonna have to buy the replacement parts that the Celica needs, but Mr. T's is gonna help like either cover the labor cost or cover like a good portion of it to really help me out because I'm really stretching the budget thin and that car's really starting to get on my nerves. So that car's booked in, it's September 4th today. The car's booked in on the 26th to get fixed or to go in to start getting fixed. And that problem maybe happened on the 31st, the 30th. I'll put the date somewhere down here of the day that, this, that the first half of this video is actually shot. But since then, basically, I've driven the Celica only if I really need to. And I've been driving this full time again, which wasn't my plan. My plan was because I got this car had some harmonic balancing issues. And the engine wasn't running right. And I got it running really, really well, thanks to trips. And my plan was just to put it away because it was I know it's there's some logic here that you just kind of have to nod your head and accept. OK, my plan was because the car was good. I was going to put it away so that when I had the money and the time to restore it, it was ready to go, right? I could just start it up, drive it wherever it needed to go. It was ready to go. And I really care about this thing. Like, believe it or not, this is my favorite car. Not the Celica, not the black Celica, not any of the other cars I've had. This is my favorite car. I love this thing. So I really, really do want to restore it. So that's why I was like, okay, let's put it away. Let's get it off daily driver duties. Cause it's, I mean, as much as I want to see it get to half a million and it will, it doesn't need to do it right now. And I probably don't have the budget to keep it going right now. Cause this car needs some love. Like the drivetrain, everything works, but it does need some love. And I would rather put the car away and come back to it when I have the money, the resources to do to fix it and get it to where I want it to be, then keep driving it and potentially lose the car altogether, if that makes sense. So the title and thumbnail of this video will probably be something to the effect of, this is the last day my Pontiac Bonneville will be out, but then my Toyota broke again, so I'm driving it again. Basically what it is. Now, I don't know if this is gonna really make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people. In here and in here, mainly in here, not so much here. Mainly in here, it makes a lot of sense to me to do this. Again, I really, really love this car, so I don't wanna see it go away. I wanna have this car long-term. So basically I'm gonna drive it as little as I have to, but as, as much as I need to, to get to work and keep life going. I'm currently shopping for another car and the sleek is booked in to get fixed. So either the sleek gets fixed or a new car comes along, whichever happens first, then this will go back into storage. And you might see it on the channel periodically from time to time, but she's gonna be, she's gonna be taken like an extended hibernation, let's put it that way. I know, I'm, I'm a little, little nuts in the head, but I love that car. So thank you guys for watching up to this point. I know this, like, don't even get me started on the Celica being, it's fixed, it's good, it's broken again, it's good, it's back and forth, it's all over the place. That car, I've had it up to here, and I don't wanna have to have it up to here with that car because I really like the Celica, and I really would like to see the GTSR build through to the end, but man, it's really, it's really pushing its luck right now. But you guys know I'll keep you in the loop about all that. 26th of September, the car's getting booked in. I don't know when this video will be uploaded, hopefully by the end of the year. So if it's not 2023 and you're seeing this, I'm doing good. If it's 2023, Braden, you're slacking. So you need to pick that up a bit. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Scully Productions. For those of you who like, comment, and subscribe, I really appreciate your support. And when you leave a comment, I really do appreciate it. I love reading your comments. So 
please leave comments. I love making videos for you guys. I love working on the cars. I love driving the cars. I love going to shows. I love hanging out with my friends and all the cars and making videos for you guys. So please keep watching them. Please keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode of Scully Productions. Thank <laughs> you.